Well, some of the nation's biggest food companies are warning investors about lower earnings in the year ahead, blaming weaker demand as Americans change the menu on what they're serving at home. Sarah Eisen has more. Dean Foods, the company behind Land O'Lakes and Mayfield Dairy, reported a loss for the quarter and predicted more trouble ahead. ConAgra, which produces Hunt's Ketchup and Peter Pan Peanut Butter, slashing its earnings outlook for the year. And Annie's, the organic company known for its packaged mac and cheese, also lowered its forecast for profits. All food companies are experiencing weak volumes uh, owing to consumer spending that's been very constrained. A sluggish consumer is just one problem food companies are dealing with. Higher commodities and raw materials costs are also a big headache. Dean Foods cited higher milk prices, which it expects to climb even further in 2014. Annie's also complained of higher organic wheat prices. But the fact is, without big gains in jobs and incomes, these companies are going to have to fight to get grocery shoppers to buy their food. Consumers are more focused on value uh, rather than uh, higher value-added sort of premium natural products. But certainly cleaner labels and uh, more natural ingredients are something that the consumer is looking for and manufacturers are, are uh, more increasingly providing more and more of those options. We're seeing that strategy play out every day. Kraft Foods announcing it's taking an artificial preservative out of its Kraft cheese singles. Following Subway last week saying it's removing a key chemical from its bread, known as dough conditioner, used to strengthen the dough. Ingredients the FDA says are safe, but consumers are now demanding even more safe. It's a trend. Big food getting increasingly aware of consumer demands for fresh, healthy ingredients. Just one step they're taking to fight an overall sluggish environment when it comes to consumer spending on the basics. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Sarah Eisen.